1. The Martyrdom of Saint Theodore, Bishop of Pentapolis. On this day, Saint Theodore, Bishop of Pentapolis, was martyred. He was ordained by Pope Theonas as Bishop for five cities. One after this, one after his ordination, Diocletian incited the persecution against the Christians everywhere. He appointed the priest called Pilate, governor of Africa and its provinces. He heard that this bishop was conforming the Christians in the Christian faith, so he brought him and ordered him to offer a sacrifice to the idols. He replied, I offer daily the sacrifice for the creator of the idols. The governor asked him, Is there any good God? Is there any God besides Artemis and Apollo? The saint replied, Yes, Jesus Christ, the creator of all things. The governor became angry for his, from his answer and ordered his daughter. He spent 40 days torturing him by beating and crucifying him. When he did not return from, from this true faith, they cut off his head and he received the crown of martyrdom. May his words be with us. Amen. 2. The martyrdom was St. Theodore, Bishop of Corinth, and his companions. On this day also of the year 299 AD, St. Theodore, Bishop of Corinth, three women and two governors, one called Lucianus and the other Dagnanius, who were martyred when some of evil men accused the same before this, two of two of mentioned governors that he was a Christian, that he was a Christian and a Bishop of Corinth. The governor knocks about him and asks him about his belief. He confessed that he was Christian. They took to him by beating and dragging him in the streets. He admonished them for their forsaking the two God and worshipping the handmaid stones. The doctor to cut off his tongue. They cut off his tongue and threw it away. A believing woman took it and handed it to the saint who placed it back in the place. Back to who placed it back in its place and by the power of God it healed as it was. He started again to explain the invalidity, the worshipping of idols. Those created marvel and many of them believed as the, as the governor Lucianus also believed. Dagnanius the governor became enraged and killed St. Theodore as he killed three women who were following him as he was going to the place of execution. Shortly after, Lucianus confessed Dagnanius and he also believed in the Lord Christ. But when to keep us confessed the Lord Christ before his governor, he cut off their heads and also received the crown of martyrdom. May his grace be with us. Amen. This day also of the year 1561 AD marks the departure of the great Saint Anbaga Bile VII, 95th Pope of Alexandria. He was born in the area around the monastery of Helmuharak at and at a young age. He became a monk in the wilderness of St. Macarius. Because of his con good conduct and his pop and his gratuitousness and his great gratuitousness, they ordained him part here after the departure of Pope John the thirteenth, ninety fourth Pope, that was in the year fifteen eighty one fifteen eighteen eighty after the Ottoman conquest. He remained the papacy about about forty two years, preaching and teaching the flock. Some of his important accomplishments with the renovation of the monasteries of Anba Antonius and Anba Paul, the first hermit in the Eastern Desert, and the monastery of Al Muharak in Upper Egypt. Some people in authority asked him to approve this approve things against the welfare of his flock. The Pope chose he chose to leave his jail and went to the monastery of Saint Antonius, for he decided to keep what the Lord said. Greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. The Lord examined him, but he endured thankfully and received the blessings the blessing that the Lord gave for those persecuted for the sake of righteousness. Then he fell sick for short illness and departed in peace. May his grace be with us and glory be to God forever. Amen.